Hi, my name is Patrick Sullivan, and I'm going to be talking about the importance of adding visual aids into a presentation. Audiences are much more likely to pay attention to a presentation when they have something else to look at, other than just the presenter. Audiences are also much more likely to retain the message when they have a visual element to reinforce the message. Stats and figures can be hard to pay attention to when you just hear them, but adding a graph or a diagram can make it much easier for the audience to understand what the numbers mean. As far as my credibility goes on the subject, I've been giving speeches with visual aids since high school. It started out with ceremonial speeches, such as a speech at graduation or an award acceptance speech. But now that I've gotten to college, I've given speeches for more technical things, such as my upper level finance classes, investment theory, and corporate finance. Both of these classes involve visual aids that go along with presentations that I present to professors and peers alike. I think visual aids are an important part to add to presentations, and this speech will tell you just why. The main topics I'll be talking about are how to craft an effective slideshow, how to balance what you're saying versus what you're showing, and how to avoid distractions altogether. On the topic of how to craft a slideshow, I'm going to first talk about what not to include on a slideshow. Slides such as this include far too much text. Large blocks of text can be very distracting to the audience. Some people think that it helps because of the added detail, but in reality, it does not. Text in general distracts the audience from listening to the presenter. People have a hard time reading and listening at the same time, and they typically read faster than the presenter is speaking, so they'll finish your slide before you're done talking. Now on to what you want to include in a presentation. Include clear, memorable images, like this one, instead of text. Though some text can help reinforce your point, people will associate an image with what you've said and be more likely to retain that info than if there was no picture present. Images must be related to what you're talking about, though. Make sure to explain to what your audience why certain things are included. Don't just put a picture on a slide without explaining what it means. And include data visualization, such as figures or graphs, like these. I'll explain more about them later, but you want to make sure they're clear and relevant to what you're talking about. Now on to my next main point. Creating a balance between what you say and what you show on screen. As I mentioned earlier, you don't want to overload your slides with a lot of text. But more than that, you don't want to just go up on stage and read directly from the slides. The audience can already get all of that information just by looking at your presentation. A presenter does not want to place so much emphasis on the slides that the audience directs more of their attention to the presentation than to the presenter himself. You want to show your audience enough with the slides, but you don't want to give away all of your information with just visuals. Some of the best presentations don't make total sense unless you see the presenter deliver the presentation. Slides will typically include general ideas, but they do not typically include details or even main points. Diagrams and data visualization are wonderful ways to present complex data by balancing what you show versus what you say. Diagrams should not be so self-explanatory that the audience can decide for the message completely by themselves. This line graph would not mean anything to anyone who did not listen to the presenter give further explanation as to what the percent change was in. When addressing your diagrams or data visualization, present the information in an interesting way that can create an engaging experience for the audience. Do not just repeat the information that the visual already shows. Talk about it in a way that helps clarify or even adds context to the presentation. And now on to my final point, how to avoid distractions and lose your audience with the use of visuals. Visuals are great supplements to any speech, and a lot of times they are necessary to convey certain messages. However, if they are not presented in an effective manner, they can hurt your presentation far more than they can help. The greatest mistake, as I mentioned earlier, is including too much information on your slides. Audiences will get lost in the text and totally lose focus on what the presenter is saying. A similar mistake is to assume that the audience understands all of the technical information and language provided. Oftentimes, metaphors can clearly convey your message without the use of technical jargon. For information-heavy presentations, 
let the audience know that handouts will be available at the end of the presentation. Providing handouts at the beginning can be very distracting because people will tend to read them rather than listen to the presenter. One of the easiest ways to lose your audience's interest is by presenting information that does not make any sense to them. Do not assume that graphs and diagrams are easily understood. Include clear labels, headings, and context, although you do not want to oversimplify your diagrams. Don't include irrelevant information. Audiences only need to know what will get your message across to them. Stick to simple messages, and do not assume your audience is as learned on the subject as you are, unless you know ahead of time that they are. Visual aids add an aesthetic component to any presentation, and it can make or break your entire speech. A presenter must have an effective slideshow, a balance between what is shown and said, and must be void of distractions. Though this may seem like a big undertaking, by knowing your audience and creating strong slides, visual aids are a great supplement to any presentation.